We'll start with the Cream Shadow by Illamasqua. This is shade Amorous. This is a nice kind of pale grey shade that will just take out the redness behind the eyes. I'm going to use an E50 Sigma Large Fluff Brush. I'm using a Blush Professional 88 color palette. I'm going to choose this creamy color here. I'm going to highlight under the brow. Then I'm going to use a pencil brush and this Dazzle Dust by Berry M. It's color number 27. And I'm going to place this shimmering pale gold color in the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm going to use the Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to pick some of this tan color up and I'm going to create a V shape in the outer corner of the eye going down to the lash line. Sweep the color in slightly to give it an airbrushed look. Now with the same brush I'm going to choose this brown color here and make that little V. And you can use the same brush to blend it all in. I'm going to use this Eye Sweet Precision Eye Definer by Mimi Me, Me, Me. First I'm going to trace a really skinny line close to the lashes. And now I'm going to go over this thin line and then gradually thicken the line as we go outwards. And create quite a steep line upwards. It doesn't go very far though, just a little line. And now run this line really thinly along the lower lash line. Super skinny line. I'm going to use an angled brush and a bit of this Cryolin cream color here. It's a white color. I'm coloring in my lower waterline. I'm going to use this extra volume collagen mascara by L'Oreal and I'm just going to goop some onto a mini fan brush. You want to thicken those lower lashes by just going sideways right and left over the roots of these bottom lashes. And then in order to emulate the lash effect that Taylor Swift has I've got a short but very thick lash that will sit very closely to the lash line and then two more spiky sparse ones. And these ones will sit in the outer half of the eye just to create that elongation there. I'm pasting this first lash down, tie it against the upper lash line, and then I'm going to paste the second lash. This is kind of tight but spiky in the outer half. And so you could just leave it at that. I'm just going to go over the top and place a third false lash over. This is kind of more loose and spiky. And again we're just placing it over the other one on the outer half. And now I'm going to use a Sigma F10 powder blush brush and I'm going to use this peachy color here from my same eyeshadow palette. Oh, Creepy Hand's going to help me with the blusher. Creepy Hand. I lined my lips in a color called Brick by MAC and I went quite a lot over my natural lip line because Taylor Swift has quite voluptuous lips. And then I fill the lips in with a color by Chanel. This is a Rouge Allure in color Passion. It's a beautiful American Beauty Rose kind of red. And I filled in the middle. And then I went over the top with some Light Me Up High Shine Lip Gloss by Mimi Me, Me, Me. This is the one with ooh, the lights in the lid and the mirror in the side. And I'm just going to ease the mirror and place the gloss just in the middle of the lips, not too far close to the edge or else the gloss could bleed, but just enough to give your lips a nice juicy glossy look.